Welcome to the Dr. Angie's Dental Health Exchange. We're here to help you get to a dental office so you can start on the road to a healthy and good feeling mouth. We'll help you eliminate your current pain or discomfort, but we also want you to have tools to prevent future problems. This is an outline of the short presentation you'll be seeing, and you will see how each of these is important in the health of your mouth. There'll be a short quiz afterward. Please save your questions and feel free to ask them at the end. If you've had problems for a while, you may not really know what a healthy mouth looks like. Healthy gums have a pink or coral color to them, whereas unhealthy gums are red. Healthy gums are firm and rather flat looking, and unhealthy gums are soft and puffy or swollen. Healthy gums just do not bleed. If your gums bleed when you brush or floss, that means you have a problem. Healthy teeth come in many shades of white, but are clean and shouldn't hurt. First, let's look at how you get cavities, and then we'll look at how gum disease occurs. Plaque is a word that you may have heard many times, but do you really know what it is? We always have germs or bacteria in our mouths. When certain types of bad germs stick on our teeth and form a film, we call it plaque. Plaque germs grow very fast. You can't see plaque on the teeth unless it's stained with a special dental dye, but you can feel it as a fuzzy coating that can really only be removed with a toothbrush or floss. It's important to know that this film of plaque can become very harmful in about one day. This is what plaque looks like when it's stained with that special dental dye. Heavy plaque is shown in the photo on the bottom right. On the left is how the plaque germs look when they're greatly enlarged under a microscope. If this sticky film of plaque is ignored, and not brushed and flossed away daily, teeth can get cavities and gums can get diseased. How do cavities happen? Well, almost every time we eat or drink, the plaque germs make an acid on our teeth. This acid weakens the tooth surface and eventually dissolves it to the point where it's a hole. These holes are called cavities or tooth decay. Since acid gets on our teeth almost every time we eat or drink, Diet is the most important thing we need to think about in preventing cavities. Diets with lots of sugar are especially bad. Sugars are sticky and cause the germs to make a lot of acids that weaken or dissolve our teeth. The acids made by germs stay harmfully high in our mouths for about 20 or 30 minutes after each time we eat or drink something. So the more often we eat or drink or have snacks or sugars, the more our germs make acids making cavities grow. Shown here is a little cavity, then a medium cavity, and finally a nerve infection caused by a deep cavity. You may have pain when you first get a cavity and then the nerve dies. Well, later the nerve can become infected and that's when you can have pain and swelling. A tooth must often be removed if the nerve gets infected. Soda or pop drinking can be very harmful to teeth. Not only does each can have up to 11 teaspoons of sugar, but it's very high in acid too. If you sip pop often, you can have acid in your mouth damaging your teeth for hours every day. Here is a sampling of some popular drinks, comparing them to water and to battery acid. The lower the number, the higher the acid. Can you see how much acid and sugar are in your favorite drink? Can you see that even Diet Pop has some high acid in it? Beware that energy drinks and sweetened coffees and teas can also lead to cavities almost as much as sodas. So to avoid cavities, we should limit the number of times we have sugar every day. And we really should drink more water than sweet drinks. And it also helps to have a healthy diet with plenty of fruits, vegetables, and proteins. It's helpful to keep our tea strong by getting fluoride on them every day. It helps to drink city water with fluoride as much as we can. And in fact, tap water is even better for our teeth than bottled water. Also, we should use toothpaste with fluoride each time we brush. So to review everything, the top ways to prevent cavities are number one, avoid sweets and frequent snacking. Drink more water than soda. Clean the germs and food off of our teeth every single day. And keep our teeth strong with fluoride. Now let's move on to another problem caused by plaque germs, gum disease. Gum disease can be the most common reason that adults lose teeth. 
Plaque germs left at the gum area can cause the gums to get a slight infection called gingivitis. Gingivitis causes swelling, bleeding, and general soreness with brushing and flossing. Once the area is cleaned up of the germs that are causing it, gingivitis will heal. This is the same patient only days after a dental cleaning with improved brushing and flossing. Cleanings by a dental professional are important to prevent gum disease too. Your everyday sticky plaque can be removed with a brush and floss, but when it hardens into tartar, the dental hygienist must remove it with an instrument called a scaler. At this type of visit, you'll have stains removed and your teeth will be polished as well. When gums feel tender and bleed, people often don't brush near the gum line any longer, and this can lead to a more serious problem of bone loss. Pain is not an early sign of gum disease. Some of the common signs can include red and puffy gums, bleeding, bad breath, some spaces appearing that were not there before, the teeth can become loose, and the gums can recede or shrink to show more of the root of the tooth. Again, pain is not often seen until late stages when the teeth are very loose or if you get a gum infection, which can feel a lot like a toothache. It's important to have a dental exam, including x-rays, to show bone loss that can't be seen by just looking in the mouth. When you smoke or use tobacco, besides getting stains, breath odors, and a higher risk for mouth cancer, you're also more likely to have gum disease. Tobacco users should look for signs of mouth cancer. Early detection can save your life. Look for any changes like sores, lumps, or patches of color change. There is help to stop using tobacco, so please ask your doctor, dentist, or local cancer society. The next few slides show how to keep your mouth and your body healthy. If you're pregnant or you know someone who's pregnant, be sure to see a dentist. More gum problems can happen during pregnancy. And also, if a pregnant woman has untreated gum disease, babies can be born early or at a low birth weight. Babies have a risk of getting cavities if they are put to bed with a bottle that contains anything but water. Also, like adults with soda, sippy cups with milk or juice need to be limited. Dentists see preschoolers getting more cavities. If you have diabetes, keeping up with good brushing and flossing habits can help your mouth and your entire body. Diabetics often have a tougher time keeping their gums healthy. And it goes the other way, too. If the gums are infected, it can make diabetes harder to control. Doctors tell us that your entire body can be healthier when your mouth is healthy. Mouth germs and infections can make your body more at risk for heart attacks, strokes, and other problems. Dental professionals recommend you avoid piercing your tongue or lips. Mouth piercings have been known to cause chipped teeth, gum damage, infections, and more. Some have even lost their ability to taste food. Okay, now let's get positive and see what simple steps can be taken to prevent many dental problems. Brush at least two times a day for about two minutes. Angle a soft toothbrush with bristles slightly under the gum and stain each area of two teeth with a gentle short back and forth motion for about 10 seconds. Then press and roll the brush away from the gum before moving on to the next couple teeth. Now if you haven't done it this way in the past, you can expect bleeding until your gums are healthy. Here's a short video. To keep your mouth healthy, it's so important to brush your teeth for two minutes twice a day. Here's how to do it right. Place a soft bristled brush at a 45 degree angle to your gums and move the brush back and forth in short strokes. Not too hard, use gentle pressure, not hurting the gums. Brush all sides, including the chewing surfaces of all teeth. To clean the inside surface of your front teeth, tilt the brush vertically and make several up and down strokes. And finally, brush your tongue to remove bacteria and keep your breath fresh. Use a fluoride toothpaste with the ADA seal and replace your brush every three to four months, sooner if the bristles get frayed. Brush twice a day, floss once a day, and see your dentist regularly. To learn more about taking care of your teeth and gums, visit mouthhealthy.org. Along with tooth brushing, you should use dental floss at least one time a day. No matter how much you brush, the plaque germs between the teeth cannot be reached and removed. 
Don't just pop the floss in and out. You'll want to wrap it and snug it close to the tooth and scrape off the sticky film. When you use floss regularly and all is healthy, gums will not hurt and you should not bleed. Flossing does take some practice. If you haven't recently flossed, your gums should be feeling better in about a week. Seeing a dental professional twice a year is ideal for most people to remove the hard tartar buildup on the teeth and also to find small problems before they turn into big problems. A couple of places to find help besides the Dr. Angie's Dental Health Exchange are the dental education programs in South Bend. We are fortunate to have IU South Bend and Ivy Tech here in our community. We covered many topics on how to keep your mouth good and healthy. Let's see how you did. Which choice offered here is the most important to consider when you're trying to prevent cavities? A healthy, low-sugar diet is the most important of these choices. How long does plaque have to form on our teeth before it can start to cause cavities or gum disease? About 24 hours. That's why we need to thoroughly remove the plaque from our teeth with brushing and flossing every single day. True or false? More adults lose their teeth from gum disease than they do from cavities. True. Many adults just do not know they have gum disease until it's too late to treat it. True or false? Because milk is a healthy drink for infants, it's okay to put that in their bottle when they go to sleep. That's false. The only safe drink for babies to sleep with is water. True or false? Sipping soda is healthier for teeth than just drinking it down. That's certainly false. Each time you drink soda, you're adding 20 to 30 minutes of acid attack to your teeth. True or false? The only problem caused by tobacco use is mouth cancer. That's false. Tobacco users have a higher chance of losing their teeth, too. Congratulations! You've already earned two hours of community service time by enrolling and watching this presentation. This would be a perfect time for you to ask any questions about the program, or about your teeth or your gum health.